Looks like General Rex has us cornered, Commander. Looks like I got you cornered, Clark! You don't have to tell us! We already know! I think the only way we're going to get out of this is by tunneling. Ooh! A bone! There may be another way out, Commander. Problem over. I'll get you next time, Clark! I don't think so. Not when I've got such a smart second in command. <laughs> <laughs> Smart second in command. That's it! I'll build my own kitty! <laughs> the body is built! Now I need super intelligence! <laughs> I'll use a bike potion, a sprinkle of smart circuits, a motherboard, a fatherboard, a and a cup of milk. <laughs> now all I need is power! Oh, oh. Electrical storms are quite common on the surface of the planet Saturn. Oh. These can last for months, and the lightning flashes are 10,000 times more powerful than electrical storms on Earth! Uh, don't go near the surface of Saturn. Introduce myself. I am the great General Rex, a powerful, wise, and handsome robot on an ongoing quest to rid the galaxy of that cursed Commander Clark. If you are so great, then why haven't you beaten him yet? Ah, Clark's really tough, but I have a brilliant plan that is guaranteed to succeed. I'm gonna stuff a giant muffin into the Ark main rocket booster. <laughs> Ridiculous, it will never succeed. Really? Leave it to me. My super brain will formulate the perfect plan. Kitty, save the day again. Excellent! We can always rely on Lieutenant Kitty. You can rely on me too, Admiral Slurp. And I can dance the cha-cha. <laughs> In fact, the Federation is so impressed with your work that we'd like to offer you a ship of your own. What? Me? Commander Kitty? It's well overdue. I... I don't know what to say, Admiral. I'm flattered, but... Um, let me think about it. Don't think too long, Kitty. The Federation has a ship all ready for a long voyage into deep space. No! <laughs> don't cry, Foxy. I don't know if I'm going yet. Uh, I'm not upset about you going. I just think I should have been off on a ship. <laughs> Doesn't the cha-cha mean anything anymore in this crazy universe? Congratulations, Kitty. You'll make a brilliant commander. Ah, why not me? Won't you miss me, Commander? Not at all. We'll just find someone else to step into your shoes. I've always liked your shoes, Kitty. What size are you? <laughs> ah. Congratulations, Kitty! So, are you gonna take the job? 
I never wanted to leave the Ark. You know, I love it here. But Commander Clark didn't seem to care if I stay or go. Maybe it's time I moved on. Space is gonna be a cold and empty place without you, Kitty. <laughs> At least I'll have your hairballs to remind me of you. <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> no! Clark and his crew will just blast our butts as usual. Not when I utilize this. It's a sonic disruptor designed to stimulate the dance lobes in the animal brain. Observe. <laughs> Panther. Let's lock up the rest of the crew members first. <laughs> you call me Almighty One, not her! <laughs> the Ark is now mine! Now all we have to do is find Clark and Kitty! Yeah. Be quiet, you silly little tin toy. I'm in charge now. But, but yes, that's exactly what you need. A kick in the butt! <laughs> to my highly developed sensors. Clark and Kitty are hiding in the shovel bay. Shall we get them, boss? Leave them to me. It looks like it's down to us to save the Ark, Kitty. Ha! It's a good thing I saved this for energy. <laughs> what a bite. It's got an earthy aftertaste. I think I'll pass. Did you really think you could hide from Panther? <laughs> Look out, Kitty!
Chancellor. Have you come to a decision about my offer? I have, Admiral. And I've decided not to accept it. I want to stay on the Ark with my friends. Very well. Clark, it's against Federation rules to dance in the control room. We can't help it, Admiral Slurp. We're still feeling the effects of Panther's Ray. Okay. But I don't like it. <laughs> Commander, Panther's Ray wore off hours ago. I won't tell him if you won't. <laughs> Let's, Let's dance, dance everybody! everybody.